I've been asked to do a guide on Mallory Park and how I would ride the track. I've used annotations to create a line around the track and coloured the line. Coming out of Devil's Elbow onto the start finish line, you're obviously going to be over to the right hand side of the track. So there's an element of keeping up some momentum going round the corner. So there's a... Now, if you're on a, something like a super bike, it's going to be close to or just after yeah, the bridge. Now there's a short straight after you leave Edwina's, so it's important here to plenty to use as reference points. You've got a, a, they're, they're quite ripply, they're like sort of almost like car curbs. But certainly by that point on most bikes you'll be braking hard. There's a point where you really need to be on your way across the track to brake. Uh, and often um, for a short time leave the throttle closed and let the bike kind of settle down to a point. You'll end up running wide and easily run across this curb. It's not a good idea. It's extremely unbike friendly. There's a couple of ways you can do it um, wide without your control. Now you can let it run a little bit wide. You can. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using it because it's just too narrow to really, really use. But you can use. Now Edwina's is a fairly tight left right chicane. The temptation here is it's important here the the changes of direction. Yes, but it's slightly uphill. So a rapid change of direction. Now, a right, pretty big lean as you start to drop down towards the elbow itself. There are two distinct humps in the track, in the, and that gives you a more straight line approach uh, into the bus stop. Now there used to be a tree on the right hand side here, which used to kind of stick out. Slightly.